I live in Prabha Devi, which is near Shivaji Park. There are two stores in Shivaji Park. They're supposed to have the best vada pavs in Mumbai. I'll get beaten up for saying this. It's an onion bhajia, mm. but we've decided just to make it a little bit more interesting. Mm. Off the yolks of the egg, which actually... Oh my God. Mmm. You've probably guessed where I am. I am, yes, I am standing in the most central part of London. This is Piccadilly Circus. I am taking you to a restaurant which is over 150 years old. I'm going to introduce you to two legends. Two ladies, two sisters who have revolutionized Indian food in this great city. So come with me as we go together to the Criterion restaurant, which is now Masala Zone on Piccadilly, right bang at Piccadilly Circus. Let's go and meet them and ask them, khane mein kya hai? Let's go. If there is anybody who has made a difference to Indian food in the UK, it's this one lady. She today has been here for several years and literally changed the scene of Indian food in London and in the rest of this country. And I am just honored to have with me the one and only Kamilia Punjabi. Kamilia, is that an accurate description and introduction to you? Well, I think I've made some difference, but... <laughs> You're very humble. You're very humble. But listen, so, uh, what they have done between Namita and uh, Kamila after everything that they have achieved is they have taken over a restaurant which is the... which is like iconically old uh, English restaurant in the bastion of the city, in the middle of Piccadilly Circus and now serving Indian food. Well, it's a historic site. Yes, it is 150 years old. It has the most amazing interior decoration embedded into the walls and ceiling. So when we got a chance to get the site, people warned us that it was not likely to succeed. But we were determined to put the best of Indian food and make it work. It's opened three or four months ago. And I must say we've had a lot of support from the locals, from visitors, from the Indian community. And it's been very heartwarming. And I'm sure one of the reasons um, uh, you've had so much support and so much of welcome is because the brand that you have opened here, Basala Zone, is already deeply embedded in the culture of London, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's perhaps the only Indian restaurant brand in the world that serves the food of all of India, whether it's street food or curries or thali or biryani, all in one place and offers it at a very popular price. Great. So listen, there are a lot of things that we have to eat. Let's have a look at the food. Let's look at the food and let's sample some of this great food because I am terribly hungry. earlier that in this episode we've got tons of icons one is the restaurant itself criterion which is an iconic place secondly we met camellia who's another icon 
third icon, her sister Namita, who has been behind all the all these wonderful Indian restaurants that you've started in London. And of course, iconic masala chai. Yes. How many more icons can we have in one episode? Think about it. Yeah. Can't handle. Can't handle. Namita, very, very happy to be here. And this food looks delicious. It looks wonderful. Tell us a little bit about everything. Everything. Huh. So let's start with the breakfast. Okay. The dosa. Okay. And we have done it with keema. Okay. So that's a keema dosa with the sambar. Uh -huh. Then we, we've got the Bihari eggs here, which are very unusual. It looks like an omelette, mm -hmm. but when you cut it, you have all the goodness of the yolks of the egg, which actually... Oh my God. So let me, let me, let me get to it. So this, oh. So this is a Bihari omelette. So what goes into this? All our so this spices? Is, yes, so this is a blend of spices. It's got the fresh herbs like the coriander, green chili, tomato, onion, and um, and we make an omelet of that. So full of the love, goodness. I love this yolk. It's nice, orange, flaming, golden, and beautiful. Shall I start? Yes. Yeah. Oh, mama, mama. Oh, you know, there's nothing better in the world than runny yolk. I just love runny yolks. Yes. And with this masala surrounding it in the in the white, it's beautiful. <coughs> I will learn how to make this. It's very nice. It's delicious. It teach you. It's spicy. It's soft, and it's runny. And Kamila just smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now this is actually something which we have innovated like a toasty for breakfast, but okay. we've done it with naan. So there's a masala omelette inside with crispy Ooh. bacon. Bacon. I love it. Good combination. I love it. So like the Bombay toasty that we eat, this is like it. Which naan, is a toasty. Naan, naan toasty. toasty. Naan toasty. With masala omelette, masala omelette which we all like. Bacon, which we all like, and can I just? Yes, can please. I just... <laughs> mm. Mm. You know, the naan has a little sweetness in it. Oh, it's very nice. Very the smokiness of the bacon, the spiciness of the the omelette, the lovely, lovely, the sort of what do you? How do you? How do you? The crispiness of the naan. I think it's nice. Oh, wonderful. I didn't get enough bacon in this bite. So it warrants another bite, I think, with bacon in it. <laughs> mm. Kunal, it's also got a kind of a chili tomato jam chutney in it. I was wondering what, oh, that, what that, that flavor is. The edge. Mm. Mm. That is what you bring a little bit of the sweetness of the tomato in yes, it. Yes, you know? exactly. Well, and then, of course, we've got the keema dosa, oh, which a I'm, lot of people love to have for breakfast. I'm getting ready for this keema dosa. So now this is the, the first time I was telling Camila before the shoot, the first time I ever ate a dosa with keema inside was in um, Kurg, in a hotel called uh, East End. And I had never imagined that you could put mutton keema inside the dosa and it tastes so good together. Yeah, but let's show everybody the keema. There you are. Ah, there's also the masala of the masala dosa. In it's got it's got a little bit of potato in it. A little bit of potato and this and and there are the chutneys. There are two kinds of chutneys. I'm going there to... There is a coconut chutney and a tomato chutney. Yeah. How do I do this now? I'm going to use all my fingers and... This dosa is so well made. It takes me back down to the south. Or to really good Udubi restaurants. It's a good. I cannot be. I. I cannot imagine. I'm eating this in London because the flavors, the taste, is harka. You know, apne. Yeah, like actually South Indian flavors. Kunal, wash it down hmm. with masala coke. 
Masala Listen, coke. Yes. Okay. Is that it? Yes, this is the masala coke. Mm. So you put the uh, chaat masala. We put, we put, we blended our own masala, mm. and actually, it tastes so good. that you will see that when some people from the coke company came to us mm. they happened to be there for lunch they said this is absolutely fantastic can you give us the recipe and we said no no you give us your recipe and then we will give you our recipe <laughs> oh this is really nice and i want to explode this myth once and for all that about this so called thing called indian food So what about this Indian food restaurants that were all over London before before now Well this is a phenomenon which is a problem in India as well For at least 50 or 60 years the restaurants Indian restaurants in India were serving Punjabi food Correct. and calling themselves Indian The rest of India was completely ignored and surprisingly the rest of India did not object <laughs> When I published my book The 50 Great Curries of India there was great surprise in the world and in India that 50 forms of curry exist hundreds of curries exist I only represented 50 It slowly started a movement for consideration of the foods of other parts of India For example in my city of Bombay there is no great restaurant serving the the curries and the foods of of bombay yes a limited little bit of snacks but the great curries of maharashtra are not covered man all the mumbai bombay restaurants please listen to what is being said over here because even i miss uh, going to one place and be able to sample the whole map of india in a plate right So now let's go to the starters you know okay. wh- what we call small plates okay. so let's see what the bhel is like so the bhel comes from my home city which is mumbai makes the best bhel in the world yes i have this constant battle with people who does the chaat in delhi taste better does the bhel in mumbai taste better does the uh, does the bengali version of the bhel taste better and i always say my mumbai चटनी And curry, you got really yes, cool. we've got kacha curry. You got kacha curry, yes. But I like this bell puri. Oh, now what shall what we? What next? Do? The onion bhajia. Mm. So it's a it's an onion bhajia, mm. but we've decided just to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. So it's a whole onion mm-hmm. which has been floured. How? And we've just it's a skill. It's a knife okay. skill. Okay, it's a knife skill. It's okay. a knife skill. We flour it. then we sprinkle it with the batter okay. and masala and then we fry it like a bhajia fry the whole thing like a bhajia i see there's some nice looking chutney as well i'll dip it and oh interesting very nice i'm sure people might be going crazy about this the no? sweetness of the onion mm. and the crispiness of the bhajia yeah. now where shall we go from here So that's, that's let's do the vada pav which is looking very tasty. Yes, we've been eyeing time. it. So this is really a really good vada pav again from Bombay. Hmm. But the key issue is this is that the vada is of course there but the pav pav where do you get pav from? Well, pao we Mumbai? bake our own pav every single morning. Really? So all our toast for breakfast is a baked pav mm-hmm. toast. If I say it is better I'll get murdered back in Mumbai but still it I live in Prabha Devi which is near Shivaji Park There are two stores in Shivaji Park which are supposed to have the best vada pavs in Mumbai I'll get beaten up for saying this but this comes very close to it The batata vada itself is just fabulous it doesn't have too much of batter on it Just a thin layer of batter, 
nicely cooked alu and the pav could be out of a Mumbai bakery. Yes. I like this onion which is slightly sauteed. Oh, I must get some chutney. Mm. Do you find well, that the non-Indian customer who comes here has a problem with spice? Not at all. Not at all. Not no? at all. I think the customer today has travelled so much mm. and what he really wants to get in London is the real taste of India. If you don't get that, give that to him, then why is he coming to us? Absolutely. So chicken 65 done with this lovely, lovely uh, chutney. So lamb biryani. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. lamb biryani. I know chicken is popular, but mutton is mutton. Huh? Hmm. Nice. This will be a hot seller, no? Hot seller. Because it has the rice, it has the lamb, it has the spices. spices. It's a composite meal. Yeah, and I've just mentioned the previous sentence that it's all about aroma and spices and flavors. And the biryani is just that. Yes. It's an unbelievable combination of what you can see, what you can smell, what you can taste. And that mutton or lamb as it's called here. Yeah. <laughs> and who will actually imagine that about 30 ingredients go into making one biryani? As yeah. it always is, but we never think of it yeah, that way. We never think of it. Yeah. Mm. This is now what pleases most Indian hearts when you see a full thali in front of you. And this is so, this is the non veg thali, obviously, because I can see some chicken here. Yes, you've got butter chicken there. Butter chicken. Yeah, and it's everything. So, you've got green vegetables, you've got potato, you've got a, a salad or raita. Raita. This aloo has been staring at me from this plate for a very long time. When in doubt, eat aloo. <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> Comfort food. Mm, mm. It's really gharka aloo, you know. Gharka aloo, literally. I love the idea of using small baby potatoes. The jeere or tarka. And the red chili tarka is fabulous. And you can make out by my energy levels, they're slowly, slowly going down because I've eaten so much food now. Try some of the mutter pulao. Correct? We have mutter pulao. Mm. Oh, very nice. For me, no Indian meal is complete without butter chicken. Butter chicken is in the bad. Even in India, I land up eating butter chicken all the time. Where in <laughs> we want butter chicken now? Hmm. Like a good Delhi wala butter chicken, this is. This is a good Delhi wala butter chicken. Delhi wala butter chicken. Because that's where it came from. Came from, yeah. That's right. So, you said this is a Bihari fish curry. It's a Bihari fish curry. So, with, for me, this is also slowly turning into, into a discovery of India because I have never had a Bihari fish curry before. So this is going to be the first time first. for me. Like this looks like a nice looking piece of fish. What fish is this? What fish do they normally... This is a cod. A cod. So a nice British fish mixed with an Indian curry is a good idea. But well, this fish looks flaky and nice. It's very interesting, it's a bit khatta. Yes. Oh, it's very nice. I, the only thing left is a little bit of meetha. Meet. And I just saw, ah, there it is. So, as part of our dessert menu, we have all the traditional desserts of um, of the country. Okay. The kulfi, gulab jamun, but this is a very unusual way of serving uh, gajar halwa. 
Yes, it is because I can see a little vermicelli here, sevia. That's right. Which are hmm? and there's a ginger biscuit underneath. Oh, is there? Let's find the ginger biscuit. Right at the bottom. And this is what I can call divine sin, which are two words that should not be said in the same breath, but I'm saying them. This is the biscuit with gajar halwa. Gajar halwa. Ginger biscuit is such a good idea. My God. Mm. Interesting mm. combination. Mm. And it's a short crust biscuit. Yes. With a distinct ginger flavor. Yes. And the gajar ka halwa is delicious. Mm. Thank you. Namita. What a lovely meal this has been. What a lovely meal. What a homely meal. What a nostalgic meal. And all sitting in probably the most coveted part of the city. Central London. Um, may you, all, all I can say is that just may you, both of you all, just keep on doing exactly what you have been doing for the last so many decades, you know. Being real ambassadors for Indian food in a foreign land. Thank you. What can I say? It's just, it's been a pleasure. Kamila, Navita, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, if you like this episode, please write to us, share, um, subscribe, comment, and give all the love that you have to not only this episode, to the channel, but to this place, to Masala Zone, and come and eat or eat in the food.